Today in this 2005 Chevrolet Silverado Crew Cab, we're going to install part number 90195. This is a Takancha Prodigy P3 Trailer Brake Controller. And also to help us with our install, we're going to be using part number 3015-P. This is a Takancha plug-in wiring adapter for electric brake controllers with GM tow packages. Okay, first thing we need to do is go ahead and get access to a tow package port. In this case, it's going to be underneath the dash on the left-hand side in a junction box right behind the brake pedal. So there's a plastic nut that we have to remove and we can go ahead and pop off the cover. Let's go ahead and remove this nut in the center. And we'll go ahead and work the cover off. Okay, let's kind of pull out these corners here and it comes apart. Okay, now this is the port that we're going to plug our adapter cord into right here. Looking at it, it'll be a second one from the left. Okay, let's go ahead and put our cover back into place. We'll route it over to opening on the top. All right, we'll leave this alone for now. We'll go ahead and work for our brake controller. Let's go ahead and mount our bracket for our brake controller. Tight one down, and then we want our bracket in a straight line with the truck. We don't want it this way or this way, but in a straight line with the truck. Once we have it the way we want it, we'll go ahead and set it up with the other screw. Now all the hardware we're using will come with the brake controller. Now we're going to take a wire harness and plug it into the back of a brake controller. We're going to use machine screws to attach it to the bracket. Now let's go ahead and take a quick look at it. You can see we have the, the title screen here, so it shows that we have power going to it. So we hit a button like an ass and it says we have no trailer hooked up. So let's go ahead and hook up a trailer and see how it works. With our trailer hooked up, you can see a small icon with a truck and trailer, so we know I have a connection. Okay, we'll do a quick test of the manual override. You can see how it scrolls through the numbers, so we know that works. And then we'll go ahead and hit the brake pedal and it shows a small amount of numbers, and that shows we have a signal from our brake pedal as well. So at this point, it's basically a matter of taking your brake controller and your trailer and go out in a back road somewhere and just go ahead and adjust it to see how much power you need. In just a short time, our brake control is ready to go. All right, with that, now finish it for the install part number 90195, the Takancha Prodigy P3 brake controller on our 2005 Chevrolet Silverado Crew Cab.